Slip on then. Don't know. The spring has turned up for the load loader. So what we're going to do, I was supposed to demo that there, but I'm not going to demo that now. We want to get this load loader up and running so that I can move to the next job. I'll come, probably come back and do this demo later on. If not, if the load loader gets done in good time, then we'll come and do it this afternoon. But as well as I say, the spring's turned up. We're now going to head to the load loader take this because I've got to lift the low loader up with this and get this new spring on so uh let's go get the spring on tell you what this is a tight old fit through here Whoa. yeah we're through I think I might need to wash the truck it's looking a little bit dirty a little bit dirty dirty we like it when it's dirty I'll drop this rake off near Dad's till bucket. Don't need that on. What we do is go on the corner of the trailer here because it makes it easier to lift up. Spring. Old spring. You got any copper grease? Any normal grease? Yeah. It'd be easier to put a bit in that um, bush to slide that pin in when it's in place. Alright, mate, yourself. <laughs> You'll put that in after you lift it up there so you don't get covered in the grease. Yeah. Fingers crossed. I haven't tried yet. No, I literally got it sort of a little while ago. Yeah, because it's over 35 kilos. Whatever. So it had to be a pallet. <laughs> Big lorry, wasn't it? Was that? Yeah. Please don't tell me you got like a pallet truck. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. And everything too. Yeah. Yeah, it was about a 30. Yeah, so then that comes pallet rate, it's 90 quid to get it here then, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right, right, I'll need you to get all off. Right. Yeah. So, hello. Joy's are laying underneath lifting this up. Ah, uh, I'll try to. Just lay her under. Mm -hmm. Joy, I'll put, just put a. Huh? Can you just put this buddy. Wet under this the axle somewhere, just a safeguard. I'm going to go up high enough, I don't think. No, I'm going to go up high enough, oh. but... Oh, done it again. Yeah. And an easier that time. Yep. Hey, you can't get up at an angle and so you get the whole front and back, you know, behind you on something. So you... No, that's right, I'll move, once it comes to the front, I'll move it to the front. If we can set this up straight, yeah. I wonder if we sit it on the blocks. Well, once it's in this bit, it should hold. Alright. Mm. Right, your end don't need to come up yet. Yeah. 
swing your end over. I oh, can't. Remember. No, it's on that ratchet strap. Right. Which one's it got going? It's got to go in. Game, what? I'll go in between them two. Go, yeah. Goes no, in, in, in there. Yeah. Yeah, and in between these. Yeah. yeah ready. <laughs> Lift your end up a bit more. Right now, you should let go. Yeah, yeah, and that'll slide forward when you lift it up, that's the same thing. Right, if you can hold that, it's yeah. really awkward. We've jumped the gun a bit. Why is that? That bush, now you knock them back a bit. What, 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 what on your side? Then? That's why I'm under here, so if it does, it drops on me. Uh, yeah. Um. All right, so that's that slid in. You've got a line that has got a line up with the hole in there, and that has got to go in up there. Slide it back to you a bit. Hang on, nowhere near yet. Add it. Yep. Right. She's in place there. Yeah. Yeah. Now that needs that bolt knocked through. Yeah. And then we've got to line the axle up with this. Well, you line it up as you do it up. Well, you drop it down, just shimmy it forward a bit. But yeah, straightforward, really. It's just awkward to get that first bit up and slid in. Yeah. Once that's in, that's all right. We'll just put some grease on this. Could be a way you're punching there. That's all right. Started. I don't know what you want, I can't see your side. That spring has got a good back, mate. To the back of the trailer? Oh, yeah. Not like that, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Leave it like that. Have we got... What do you want? It should go through there. Yeah, it's just through. It just needs knocking now. If you get from underneath there now. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. If we put that on. Well, I'll do that nut up on the back. And then I'd lower that. Um, it's not moving, is it? Yeah, you can't move that leaf spring, it's fixed where it is, isn't it? You want me to get them there? I'll get you a socket. That should be the same size as them other ones, or is it bigger than that? Not either size, yeah. There yeah. you go. Oh. Put the washer on. Two-mil spanner as well. Yeah, it's about 36. Or big adjustable was in the side yeah. toolbox. Side toolbox under is undone. I think there's a big one in there. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Make sure So what we do now is we'll block this up, get a bottle jack under here, and then we'll lower the bottle jack down, once we take the ratchet strap off, onto the top of the leaf spring. So easy to put it back together. It's a nightmare to take it apart, but easy to put it back together. And while we're under here, we will grease everything up as well. Do well. Don't forget. Get it underneath on the flat. I'll have to do it under here. I'm gonna get it. That's where it went up, well it. The yeah. strap doesn't have to come off, does it? No, no, it just got loose in it. take all the weight off to slide it my way. You've got to take the weight off this, otherwise you'll never move it. And what you want is you want a bar, like your flat bar, a little yeah. flat bar just to pry it my way a bit. In, put the U bolts back on. Job is a good one. We've got left is put the flat plate on there, bolt up. Job's good. It's all on, it's all talked up. Do well. 
put a wheel on now. Yeah, I'll have the axle stain there. Go on. Yeah. I'll get the wheels round, get them on, and uh, drop her back down, which is done. We put a four foot sna uh, snap on, three quarter bar on there, pulled on it hard, and then we got the torque wrench on. Which one? Do you want me to get? Mine's out. I just pump. come off the nipple, I don't. Well, if you try and hold it on. Is that you? I'm get that battery powered one in there. Okay. That's alright, I'll hold it. Yeah. No. No. That's the grease nipple. Grease nipple. I bet it's a shot. Grease nipple's in your gun. No, it went down up. Brilliant. Hello. Hello, Dale. How are you? Yeah. Oh, chocolate. I'm getting chocolate. That's very kind of you. That is very kind. I was about to say, um, yeah, I'll put mine up there for a second. The grease nipple is in there, isn't it? Yeah, Brand new spring. Mm. And that good. little tool. That? Is a camera. Do you do YouTube at all? Fine. Do I? Do YouTube, what I call YouTube. Yes, now and again. Put in, go on to YouTube and put in Dig DIG 84. And you'll see hundreds of him on there. Doing what? All my fantastic work. Really? Yeah. Dig 84. Yep. So what do you got to put in your search bar at the top yeah. when you go on? Yeah, just dig 84 and then hit that subscribe button and you'll get everything. So, you do that so you can see them when yeah. you can't see. Yeah, no, just video everything I do. I want to see them then, you put that Then on. I put this on, oh, then, I, then I edit it all up at night and then put it on YouTube. No, but, ain't the nipple, you, yeah, the... I haven't put it in with right through them. No, oh, brilliant. And you ain't got any with you? Yeah, I just don't I don't know. I'll just try this once more. Try it. Well, it's lovely talking to you and seeing and you. And you, thank you for the chocky. No worries. No, no it's just blew that out. Dig 84. Yep, dig and then the numbers 8 and 4. All done and dusted. Got that chain off. Right, so the trail is all done, as you can see. Um, do well. There you go, she's all done, she's back on all four wheels and she's ready to move Dad's eight tonner to the next job uh, tomorrow. I'm not in tomorrow, I've got my uh, HGV theory test to do tomorrow. So, um, I'm not in. Put the rake back on, go round and have the double trouble team working together. Dad's now in the wall garden as well. He's going to riddle some uh, rubbish out or some concrete out of his riddle bucket. I'm now going to put my rake back on, go over to the fire, round the fire up, and then go into the wall garden and I might start taking that roof down on that shed. We shall see. Well, I'll get this rake put back on. Da 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 Right, she's back on. Just quickly go to my truck and get a drink and then uh go see uh dad whose arm you can probably just see in the distance over that brick wall is where I gotta go. So go see him after I ran the old fire up, boy. Yeah, boy. Right, I just grabbed myself a fresh one. Let's go to the fire. Whoop, wrong way. Cough. Cough. So we sat in the truck overnight. Oh, it's just cold. Just as cold as ice. 
She's willing to sacrifice all of her. Right, we're over the fire. So what we're gonna do is just quickly round the fire up to get it stoked up again. And also to tidy it up. This fire amazed me because all I really had to do, or had to start it off, was some stumps. But where the stumps have been sat for a couple of years and dried off, and got rotten, I mean this fire just erupted, it just roared away, it was lovely. So that has burnt nearly all the stumps, all the rubbish, and I'm now just going around to just tidy it all up and put it back on the centre again. Did not want to do that, silly Billy. Right, I'm going to carry on rounding this up for a second or two. It won't take long. I see you want to get back in a walled garden. Show you what we're doing in there. See you in a second. Right, so as we come into the walled garden, I've managed to get most of the stumps out. I'm now just raking through the grass and getting the twigs let out. As I come around the corner here, you'll see Dad's working away. Literally, um, there used to be a couple of old walls there, so he's just shaking through the dirt to get the brick rubble and that out. That is what he is on over there. But look at it, he's getting a fair bit of rubble out. And I am now going to start taking some of this, uh, take some of this roof down. too bothered at how I do this really. Um, got to be a bit careful obviously because at the end of the day they still want to keep the brickwork I think. They want to re they want to redo the greenhouse but I can't see there's a lot left in here really to redo. That is uh, the old metal irrigation. The old metal irrigation pipe. Which we shall put. Uh, I'm going to put it somewhere out of the way, but where I don't know. We we'll like in between these new trees. out of the way there for now. Yay. What I'm going to do here is just create a pile. So when the tractor and trailer comes in on Wednesday, I can literally just grab it and put it all straight on top.
They are beautiful. Right, that is the first one down and done for now. Just to be safe, I'll probably come. Looking at this brickwork as I'm taking it down, it's all blown out, the mortar's gone, everything's gone. I've got a funny feeling I'll have to come back and take these right down. It might be Wednesday I knock these down. They're just so unsafe. If we can get in there now, that's just going to knock our clean over. The right, we'll get on to this one. I'll take the electricity pole out first, and then we'll get on with this. much to do on this one because it's already near enough down. back on the levers.
I'm going to show you this. You can't see it, but there's a tree over the back there full of kites. There you are. Have you seen that oak tree? How many kites are sat on it? Well, good guy. Can you get your camera up there? Well, I'm going to try, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I get you, that. you can't. Your, your camera on go close on your phone and then just take a picture to put on the film or not? No, because um, they, they look like pigeons, they honestly do. But yeah, I know, I've seen the ones you've filmed. Yeah, even on my phone they come up looking like pigeons when I zoom in. Yeah. That's a shame, because you won't get that yeah. again, will you? No. No, I've never seen that before. It's not grouped up like that anyway. No. I have took a picture, I'll try and put a picture across. Never will I probably see that again in my life, but there's 14 birds of prey, i.e. the kites, sat up in that dead oak tree. Which I will try and get a little bit closer and get a bit better picture, but I don't know if I will or won't. They might stay there as it's the digger. If I was to walk that, they'd just fly off straight away. Stunning, it really is stunning. You probably can't see that at all on there, but that dead oak tree right in front of me, all on the top, even if I zoomed in, I'd never be able to get them. And uh, that'll probably do for today. And there goes the eight ton off. He's now going to get ready to move to the next job, which is a mile down the road. He's going to do one of my jobs that I was supposed to do. Um, but then, I'm, like I say, I'm off tomorrow to do my HGV. If I get done, I'll come back in the afternoon and carry on here. Then on Wednesday, I'm then moving to my next job, which is a month's worth, which was on that uh, pond video before, where I've got a lot of woodwork to do in there. So, but right, that's it for this one. Uh, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, subscribed. If you haven't, please do like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to turn the notification bell on as well. So every time I upload, which I try and upload at least, I don't know, two, two to three times a week at the minute, just to try and get out there. Um, if you could all help me, great. But right, stay safe, and we'll see you soon on the next one. See you later.